In this lecture, we'll be discussing about uh, multiplexers with enable inputs. Now, enable inputs are very, very important. Uh, when we use multiple multiplexers in a circuit, sometimes it is very essential to uh, disable one of the multiplexers and enable the other. So during that time, uh, the enable inputs comes into play. So we all know what is a multiplexer. Uh, multiplexer is otherwise also known as many to one. So in this particular circuit diagram, we can see a uh, block diagram. We can see uh, that uh, there are four inputs, two select lines, one output. And the relation between the input and the out, uh, and the select line is given as 2 to the power n equal to m, where m is the number of input lines and n is the select line. Now, we have introduced another terminal, uh, which we will call as enable input. Now, this enable input can be active low type as well as active high type. Now, in most of the cases, uh, we prefer active low type enable input. Uh, it is having a utility where we can uh, uh, reduce the fan out problem. Uh, that we will discuss uh, in the lecture related to TTL and CMOS. But presently, we will just consider a circuit of a multiplexer which is having a active low enable input. Now, when we are discussing active low enable input, in this case, when the enable input is high, as uh, as shown in the table, when the enable input is high, whatever be the select line, whatever be the condition of the select line, uh, the X here means the don't care condition. That means the input can be at any logic. So whatever be the condition of S1 and S0, the output will always remain at zero. That means none of the input lines is getting selected at the output, which means this particular multiplexer is presently disabled. Now, when this particular enable input is connected to low, this particular multiplexer starts functioning as per the signal provided at S1 and S0, the digital logic provided at S1 and S0. So when we provide the 0, 0 at S1 and S0, the I0 input gets selected at the output and so on. So how to achieve this? We all know that uh, this is the equation for uh, a 4 to 1 multiplexer and we have to introduce an additional control into the circuit. So in order to do that, what we can do is, apart from having the circuit using the discrete components, previously we had inputs to the AND gates and the necessary logic combination of S1 and S0 into the uh, AND gates. But now we will be introducing another terminal which we will uh, called as enable and we will input that using an inverter and we will connect all the inputs together. Now, if we apply a high logic at enable input, what happens is the output of this inverter now becomes a zero and each one of the inputs of the AND gate is now at zero. So we all know uh, uh, a zero at any one of the inputs of the AND gate, the output will be zero, whatever be the condition of other inputs. So during this situation, the output of all the AND gates are now zero and output of this particular OR gate will be zero always, whatever be the situation, whatever be the logic inputs at S1 and S0. So if, if we connect this enable input to zero, what happens is the output of the inverter now becomes one and now all the all the AND gates will respond as per the other logic inputs at the input. So this is how we actually achieve uh, enable, uh, enable input for a multiplexer. This 
is basically used either to enable or disable the multiplexer. I hope this lecture has provided provided a very basic about the enable inputs and the utility of it uh, that uh, we can use this to enable or disable the multiplexer as per our demand in the circuit. Thank you. Thank you for watching the lecture.